What's good, y'all? I'm going to make this short and sweet. Um, this ain't going to be the prettiest thing you see on YouTube, but, I mean, you're going to get the point. Um, basically, I'm going to just show you how to install presets into Electric 2. Um, just, it just depends on how you got your system set up. I kept seeing it for PC, but it took me about 30 minutes to see how to do it for Mac. Um, so I'm just putting this up here for y'all. So I just got folders on my desktop. I would just click on a folder. This just kind of gets your finder open. Uh, or you can go down there and click on, you know, the, um, the finder right here. But, um, finder open. Then you're going to click on your, um, your Mac OS, whatever you have that is called. Mine, I just left it Mac OS. Um, and then you're going to go to library. You're going to go to audio. Then you're going to go to plugins. And then you go to plugins and you'll see a folder that says Electrex Sounds or Electrex Sounds. Click on that. And that's literally the folder that you're going to put all your stuff in. That folder right there. So, um... I got like some some VST banks over here, so I'll click on this, and I, I keep all my my stuff separated. So I click over here on Tone to Electra, and I already did it, so I'm not going to do it. And I will literally drag and drop this folder over here, like in a white space. And then you know if you already have it open, just close it out and open it again. As far as like Electra, because um, I'm using um, Logic Pro X. But yeah, so I mean, that's pretty much it. You just, again, click on your Mac OS or whatever yours is called. You click on, um, click on your Mac OS, I'm sorry. Library, audio, plugins. You find your folder, which is going to be Electra X Sounds. And then you just drag and drop whatever the presets are in there. And it's easy as that. All right, man, I hope y'all enjoyed this. I hope I helped somebody out. I appreciate you.